Hello everyone, this is Northwind here, and welcome to another First Look episode. Uh, today we're going to be looking at an independent game that was just released on the Steam store called uh, DevGuy. It is a free-to-play game, and I figured I'd give it a shot, so uh, let's see what we've got. Oh, epic beard. Hello, and welcome to the life of a dev guy. The man you see in front of you is Warren. He's the dev guy you will be controlling. All you need to do is help him upload his game onto the App Store. Unfortunately, Warren's computer crapped out and lost his data. Luckily, Warren has a backup on a jump drive in his car. You just need to get him to it and upload the game. You control Warren's movement with arrow keys and use E to interact with objects. When Warren attains a new item, it will be assigned to the R key and will appear where the red arrow is. If you ever wish to quit this game at any time, just hit Escape to go to the main menu. Good luck helping Warren get his data back, and most of all, have fun. That's a fairly easy, uh... Let's see here. I'm gonna do that. Okay. E. This is my desk. Not much to say about it. Past it being a desk. Okay. What about the TV? It's a TV. Doesn't work, though. Why do we even have this thing? Books? Nope. Uh, computer... Window... Bed. It's my bed. I sleep on it when I'm not pulling another all-nighter. Oh, Warren. Now, let's just get an idea here. I do like the way that the art is uh, laid out. It's fairly simple. I like the kind of bobby nature of the character here. So, yeah. I think the first thing we need to do is head outside. Gah, the door feels jammed. Pushing it does nothing. I'll have to go around. What if I go through here? A vent, eh? Maybe if I can unscrew the supports, I can sneak to the other side. Well, let's see if we can find maybe a screwdriver. Can I go through the window? No. This is my desk. Yeah, we already read that. Okay. Ah, it's a bookcase full of books on dystopic sci-fi novels like Batshit Max and Best World. Oh sweet, it's my trusty flathead. I can't leave the office without this little guy. Nice. Okay, so I'm going to assume that I have a screwdriver now. So we're going to go over here, and we are going to... Yep, you can see on the left-hand side of the screen there that we have the ability to use a screwdriver by using R. <laughs> Boom! Oh shoot, I guess it was a pull door the whole time. Oh well, it's open now. Warren, you are completely hapless. Alright, so we live in six, it looks like. Uh, we've got the Marge hair shrubs. We've got some type of caution tape. Looks like a crime scene for Mrs. Lonely Heart's dead cat. I'll have to find a way around. Mrs. Lonely Heart's dead cat warrants a crime scene? Alright, well, I obviously can't go back through my apartment. Let's try to go through number five. We are now in somebody's apartment. Okay. Disappointing. I was really looking forward to judging that game. Well, what about their computer? Can I use their computer, since I'm obviously rooting around in their apartment? Nope. What about their TV? Nope. Their bed? Nope. Okay, got another bookshelf here. All these books are blank. Maybe they're just here to make the place look busy? Maybe. A lot of people have uh, a kind of weird thing where they have books around just to kind of look intellectual, even though they're not it. What the heck? It's Idiobaka's female body pillow girl, Natasha. Why am I even looking at this? I don't know, but I feel dirty, and I cannot back out of it. Yeah, okay. I don't want anything to do with that. Alright, four. Was not a very uh, effective caution, like crime scene tape. Crime tape. C crime scene. Ah. Alright, so we've gone down the stairs. We're on another floor. Let's see if we can go through number three. 
Okay. Ooh, these walls are, are really, really, like, Doppler effect craziness. All these bed looks the same. This complex must not really value the people who live in it. Okay. I'm going to assume that meant it. Alright, that's number three. Nothing really in there. Oh, yeah, look at like my little pony. I called plagiarism on that, and I don't even like ponies. I am not a My Little Pony fan. This door is locked. My one weakness. I'll have to get in another way. Well, my guess is we'll have to get in through apartment number one. Oh, well, this wallpaper just kind of rocks. What do we got here? Looks like we've got a fire flower. Uh, we've got some coins. We've got a pitfall guy. Looks like... Uh, I do not envy the Polish poor soul that has to sleep on this thing. Oh, I'm standing on somebody's bed. Ooh, yeah, that's not great. What do we got here? These cartridges are blank. There must be. These must be for homebrew games. Oh, okay. Looks like we have an original NES here. I remember these consoles. I also remember breaking mine. I never broke my Nintendo. As a matter of fact, my Nintendo lasted for an incredibly long time. Like, disturbingly long time. Alright, well, let's see if we can get outside. We can. Alright, so we're on the street. Obviously, that door there is blocked off by crime scene tape. Oh, that is really cool. I like the, the depth perception in this. Where's my car? Oh, I guess I... Oh, what's that? I can see the pony lover's room through this window. Okay, well, that may come in handy later. I can't go that direction. Can you only cross at... at crosswalks? No, it doesn't look like it. We'll see if we can go back on the other side. Whoa! Okay. Drat, your car just got towed. You'll have to find a phone to call the towing agency. Alright, well... If there's one thing I know after going through every single apartment in this apartment complex, it's that no one has phones. Okay, there's nothing that way. No pay phones from what I can see, and I can't go in that door. Maybe we should go back in and see if we can track down a, a phone. Maybe somebody has a phone on one of their desks or something. I didn't see one. Oh, wait, there's a phone. All right. Gabe's towing. This is Gabe. Gabe, it's Warren. One of the guy. One of you guys just towed my car. Oh shoot! Really? Yeah, really. All right. Let's see if we have it. What kind of car is it? It's a black Buick Electra. Oh, shoot. What? What's wrong? I just got back from towing a black Buick Electra. Damn it, Cape! What the fuck? What? Your license plate said tow me. I just did what it asked. First of all, it's tow me. And second, that's not an excuse for towing it. Huh. Suppose you're right. Sorry about that, man. Ah, just bring it back and we can put this behind us. Alrighty, I'll be down in a bit. Hmm, sounds like Cape just pulled up. Cabe is driving the, driving the fastest tow truck I have ever seen in my life. Like speed of light towing. Alright, come here. Oh, he put it on that side. Cabe, you're an idiot. Wow, you showed up fast. He did show up fast. Well, my place is just two blocks down. That is convenient, though you towing my car in the first place was not. Oh, hey, that reminds me. I saw you left your car unlocked, so I locked it up for you. Oh, is that so? Yeah, man. I got your back on this stuff, bro. I appreciate your concern, but that means I gotta go back upstairs to get my car keys now. Oh, I'm sorry, man. It's alright, bro. I'll be right back. Okay, well, obviously I have to go back up to my apartment to get my keys. Why I would leave my car unlocked on the street, I have no idea, but what? Oh, shit, that sounded like it came from outside. Better check it out. Okay, I guess we're going right back outside. What do we got here? 
Somebody broke my window. Gabe, why is my car window busted? Well, I felt bad about locking the car, so I broke the window and unlocked it for you. Seriously, Gabe, what the fuck? Hey, I made up for my mistake by opening up the car for you. I just saved you a trip, bro. You broke my fucking window! Eh, well, uh, sorry? <laughs> it doesn't matter anymore. Now that it's unlocked, I can finally get my jump drive out. Oh, you mean this thing? Why did you say so? I had it with me the whole time. Damn it, Cabe. What the fuck? Well, I figured no one would be using it after I towed the car, so I took it for myself. Sorry. Just give me back my thumb drive and we'll put this behind us. Alright, well, I'll be headed back now. Good luck with the game, man. Sorry about taking your car. Again. Now that I got my jump drive, I think it's time to upload this game and move on with my life. Alright. After a series of annoyances, you finally have your hard drive hard earned backup on hand. And that is the life of a dev guy. Simple, a little rough in some parts, but genuinely wait a minute, this jump drive is empty. Fuck, Cave must have formatted the damn thing and lost the data. That numb nut. Alright, no need to panic. You lost all your data, and your publishing license expires tomorrow. Take that back. This is the prime time to panic. Panic like there's no fucking tomorrow. It's all over. You failed to help Warren get his game on the App Store and build his career. You're doomed. Wait a minute, there are other developers in the building. You may have a chance yet. All you need to do is take the jump drive, head to the other apartments, and do a little source hacking. Alright. Alright. There are five devs in this place, so there are five games to source hack. Let's do this. Okay. First things first, we're gonna go to number five. Okay, number five. Come to me. Alright. This is a game made by Sam Shark. He makes good games, but it is just a big but he's a he's just a big jerk about it. Supposedly this is his masterpiece, where you learn the trials of the human heart. The following could be a very strange and overrated game. Okay, I guess we're going into a game within a game. The Super Heart Rate Simulator. This is Stick. Stick is an ordinary human stick figure, heart and all. In this game, you are in charge of Stick Heart's rhythm. The blue bar you see is Stick Heart Rate, and the green bar beside it is his tolerance meter. Your job is to keep Stick's heart rate in the green zone by pressing the heart button. If Stick's heart rate is in the red zone, his tolerance will go down. If his tolerance reaches zero, Stick will have a heart attack. Let's try to keep Stick alive while he's just standing. To test what you've learned, just press the heart button every time you think he's reached the red zone. Well done! You seem to know what you're doing. So let's begin level one, shall we? Stage one, walking to work. Oof. Keep it in the green, keep it in the green. Suddenly a cute girl approaches. Stick for directions. Success! Stick gave the cute girl proper directions and made his work way to work without a heart attack. You're really getting the hang of this. Actually, I feel like I'm going to give this guy a really bad heart attack soon, so... Let's keep going. Stage 2. 9 to 5. Which is probably my favorite Dolly Parton movie. Okay, so far we got this. Stickman, you got really low blood pressure. Suddenly, Stickman's boss shows up to examine his progress. Oof. Come on, stick man. Stick it out, man. Stick it out. Okay. Ooh. He's gone. Now back to the boredom of work. Ooh. Success! Stick made it through work, and his heart rate is still intact. Now it's time for you to go home for the night. Stage 3. Sleep. Shh! Stick is sleeping. Holy cow, that goes down really fast. Okay, this is going to be really tough. I think Stick has, like, sleep apnea or something. 
Come on, stick. All you gotta do is survive a night. One stupid night. That's all you have to do. Suddenly, Stick begins to have... Oh, no! Damn it, Stick couldn't get his mind off that girl, and it cost him his life. Now he's dead with a ruined pair of pants. Ah, the mortician isn't gonna like this. Let's try that again. That was not an easy thing to do. Okay, so we had a little technical difficulty that made the game crash, and uh, now we are back to trying to get through this sleep cycle. Stage 3, sleep. Who knew that sleeping could be so difficult? Oof. That's what you gotta do. It just jumps up way too high. He's... It's very hard for him to sleep through the night without losing his mind. Alright, this is where I'm gonna get into trouble. Gonna get into trouble. Okay, here it comes. It's gonna jump in really fast. No, no, no! Ah! One more time. Right. Stickman, you are the bane of my existence. Can't make it through freaking REM cycle. Here we go. Get us through this. Come on. Come on. Get through the dream. I know she's a pretty girl, but get through the dream. Damn it, Stick, you lech! Get your mind off that girl before you wake up, before you have a heart attack! Success! Stick made it to the end of the night without dying from a heart attack. Now, if only Stick can get out of his bed without breaking his leg. Ah. Though it seems that he ruined his pants from his dream last night. Oh well, at least he's still got a pulse. Congratulations! You got stick through his full day, all while keeping his heart rate intact. You're something else, man. I am something else. The end. And that is going to be the end of this first look episode at the game uh, Dev Guy. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if this is something that you would like to see me continue, uh, go ahead and give me a comment. Let me know what you think. Uh, like the video, subscribe to the channel. I'm going to try to get through this game in a couple of episodes. And uh, so, yeah. Have a great day, guys. Bye now.